Hello. Happy Thursday. Getting ready before work. Say hi when you hop on so that I know that you're on. Need a little lip exfoliator. I didn't do my brows today so that you can see that I don't have any brows and you can see how I do them. I'm sick of wearing sweaters, so I got something a little more spring-like out. And today we're gonna play around with some pressed shadows. And we're also gonna play around with uh, some blue cream shadow. All right, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my eye primer. And this helps the shadow stay on longer. Helps it last all day. There's a little tint to it, but that's okay. Covers up any imperfections you have in your lid. And you don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. I got this in my presenter's kit in October. Next, I'm going to be applying my cream foundation. Looks like this. It's got a protective plastic cover and it's just creamy and dewy. This is the color Velour. Nope, this is the color Taffeta, I'm sorry. I also have Velour. I'll show you. There's not a lot of difference. This is Taffeta. And this is velour. So I can wear both. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my foundation brush. And I'm just going to swirl it around in there. And I'm going to put it on my face. Simple as that. How's everybody doing on this Thursday? For those of you that do not know me, my name is Paula Juleson, and I am a unique presenter. I sell unique makeup and skin products. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin my business Facebook page so that if anybody wants to do any shopping, they can just click shop or they can PM me with any messages that they have. See? Goes on really easy. Don't need a lot. And it gives you kind of a dewy finish. Now we also have liquid touch foundation and that dries to a powdery finish. But today I just want to use my cream foundation. I change up a bit. Okay. All right. So there's that. And you can see coverage is really good. And it gives you a little dewy finish. Not so dry. And that's important when you live in Wisconsin. It's dry, especially in the winter time. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my brows. And I'm going to do my brows using the Brow Obsession Palette. I have the Brunette Palette. There's a blonde palette, brunette palette, and then there's a dark palette. And it comes with a wax that helps the powders adhere to your eyebrows. It also tames any wild eyebrows that you have. If you have some bushy eyebrows, it'll tame them. It has a lighter powder and a darker powder. I kind of go back and forth between the two until I get the right color. And it also has some highlighters for up here under your brow. Or this one here is also really pretty all over your lid. Okay. Got some people on. Say hi. Mm -hmm. So in order to find out where your brows are supposed to start, as you can see, mine start here. Because I plucked my eyebrows when it was cool to pluck your eyebrows. 
and now they won't grow back. So you just line the brush up along your nose and that's where your brow is supposed to start. And it's so simple to do. The more you do it, the better you're going to get. Now I'm using my Brow Artist Brush. It's angled and really thin on one side. On the other side, hi Jan! And it's flat on the other. And Unique sells this Brow Artist Brush. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I don't know if my phone is up high enough. If you want to see what I'm doing, just swipe the comments to the right if it gets too many comments. Sometimes it covers part of my face. So I'm going to tap the angle side into some of that wax, and then I'm going to go back and forth between the two. And I'm going to make my line, and I have to look in the mirror because I'm not really good looking in the phone and doing it. So I have to make my line where it's supposed to be. That is where my brow is supposed to start, right there. And what I do is I take it like this and I drag it over, just drag it over to where it meets your natural brow. You want them kind of thicker in the front and you want them to kind of arch up. So you just drag it up like this till it meets your natural brow. Okay. And then what you do is you just, I guess I can use the mirror, you just go along your natural brow. Short little strokes. And if you make a mistake, just wipe it away. Nothing's permanent. All right. And you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going up to meet where my natural brow is. And I'm just filling it in. Now we also sell stencils. So if you're not real confident in doing it, Freehand like this, we can use a stencil. They come in different thicknesses, different widths, and it gives you a perfect outline. Now we have to try to match this brow to this brow, and it's not going to match. Even your natural eyebrows do not match, so don't worry about it. Just as long as they're related, right? So what you're going to do is, once again, you're going to find where your brows are supposed to start. And you're going to dip in the wax. Go back and forth, and you're going to make a mark. See? And then you're going to take it, and you're going to drag it up to where it meets your natural brow. Like that, see? And now you're going to start filling it in. And I'm sorry if I can't see your comments while I'm doing this. I'll be done in a second. And one's a little too thick, so you just fix it, wipe it away. And it's not that hard to do. The brow palette, I think it's only like $39. And when you first start doing this, you're going to be like, oh my God, it just doesn't look right because you're not used to seeing yourself with brows. But once you do it every day, you're going to get used to it. Brows are back in style. You can make them as thin as you want. You can make them as dark as you want. But see, I've got some eyebrows now. So now... Wait till you see this. This is hilarious. So now, some people, they they like that ombre look where they're lighter in the front and they kind of get, you know, dark and 
as they taper off. If you're into that, Walgreens and Walmart, <laughs> they're brush picks, the doctor's brush picks. On one side, you pick your teeth. On the other side, there's a little comb. Look at this little comb. And you can use this. You can use this to brush out some of that powder and make them appear lighter. See how that works? Greatest invention ever. It is so hilarious. I was in the bathroom brushing my teeth, picking my teeth, and I thought, hmm, but look. See how that looks? Greatest invention ever. Go get some. The doctor's brush picks. That's the tip of the day here. So I got my brows done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my shadow. Now some people like to finish their face before they put their shadow on, but I like to add my concealer when I'm done putting my shadow on in case there's any fallout on my face. It's just easier to clean up with the concealer after I do my eyes. Now as you can see I'm wearing blue. I'm wearing some blue so I'm going to use some blue today. I'm going to use the Splurge Cream Shadow Ferocious. See how pretty that is? There's a little shimmer in there. They go on like a cream and they dry to a powder. First time I've used this color. And then I'm also going to use the new color Witty. And it's this orange color right here. Witty. It's one of the new pressed shadow colors. And right now you can get four pressed shadows of your choice in a quad palette with an epic mascara and a splash liquid lipstick for $72 for the whole bundle and there's no shipping now through the 24th for anything you order off of my website. No shipping at all charges. Alright, so what we're going to do is first we're going to go in our crease with that orange witty color. I'm kind of excited. I'm sick of, I'm sick of winter. I just want something vibrant instead of those dull winter colors. So I'm going to go back and forth in my crease here. Back and forth and I have a blending brush. See how long the bristles are? It's really soft and just slightly tap into that witty color. It's an orangey color. And you just go back and forth like this. In the crease and a little above. See how I'm going a little above? See? Now I'm going to tap in and do the other eye. Try to do it looking in my phone. Back and forth in the crease. Now I'm going to have a makeup party this Sunday. Anybody that lives in the area going to be at Jeffrey's, 3 o'clock on Sunday. I'm going to have all these products here and I'll have another presenter there, Jen Kudo. She's a new presenter with Unique and she's going to be there to help me out. So stop in. Stop in if you're interested. I'll help you order or I'll help you sign up if you want to do this. If you like putting makeup on and talking to people, taking selfies, Join! It's so much fun and you can make really good money doing it too. Okay, so I've got the witty in the crease. So now I'm going to use the flat end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply, I'm going to apply Ferocious, this is pretty blue color, cream shadow on my lid. Here we go now. Don't be scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. Alright. So I have to look in the mirror because I'm not very talented looking in my phone yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it to my lid. And it goes, it's buildable. So just 
one coat at a time is all you need. You can have it as light as you want, or you can have it as dark as you want. And I'm just doing the lid where it meets that orange color witty. Okay, so far so good. Let's keep her going. And just go from the crease and kind of pull it down. Go back and forth. Get down by your lashes. Kind of looks like a sunset, don't it? That's the intention. Something summery looking. I'm going to make this a little darker. Okay. All right. Sorry, I'm getting messages. So I'm going to do the other eye, and we're going to blend that out with our blending brush. So we're just applying it for now, but we will blend it out. And we're going to start up here on the top and kind of drag it down. Goes on like butter. And it dries to a powder, so it's not going to remain heavy and creamy on your lids all day. Okay. Goes on really easy. See? And remember, we're going to blend everything out everything out. It's going to be, I think it's supposed to be close to 50 today. And then it's supposed to turn around and snow. Crazy, crazy weather. Okay, so now that I have all that applied, I'm going to blend it out so it doesn't look so harsh. I'm going to use my mirror. And I'm just going to go in the crease where that witty color meets the ferocious blue color. And I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth, and blend it all out. Just softly blend it out. You have to blend. Now I'm going to do the other eye, back and forth, see, isn't that pretty? Nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same flat side and I'm going to wipe it off a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into another pressed shadow powder. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to use Gentle. It's this little, here, this is a magnetic case. It's pretty cool. It holds all your shadows. And it's a champagne-y, shimmery, highlighting powder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into a little of that. I'm going to apply it to the center and up above. So once again, i got to get my mirror, sorry. And you can go right over the top of that ferocious, that cream shadow, the blue color. And it's going to change the color. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go right in the center, and I'm going to leave it dark in the corner of my eye, the outer corner of my eye, and also I'm going to leave it dark over here in this corner. And I'm going to actually put some more over here in this corner. But see how it highlights that eye? It's pretty. 
pretty, pretty, pretty. See? So now we're going to dip into some more and we're going to do the other eye. Just in the center. Just in the center. Leave that color in the outer corner and the inner corner of your eye. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my crease brush. And I'm going to get in the corner here with some more of that dark blue color. That ferocious color. Isn't that pretty? And I'm just going to tap that in the corner here. Just lightly right here in my crease. And I love this crease brush because you have a lot of control with it. <clears throat> and I'm going to kind of get the corner of my outer lid here. And we're just applying it. We're going to blend it out. See how pretty that is? So now I'm going to do my other one. In the crease, the outer crease is all. And you're going to come down in the corner of your eye. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of bring it in a little bit. Bring it in a little bit here in the corner of your lid. And if you want, you can put some more in your inner corner of your eye. See? See how pretty that is? Do the other one. And then we're going to blend it out. All right, so I applied all the shadow. So now we're going to blend it out so it doesn't look so harsh. See? And actually, I think I'm going to add a little more of that blue in my crease of my other eye because I like the way that looks. I like the way that looks. Right in my crease. Little drama. Little drama on a Thursday. So I'm going to start here in the inner corner and I'm going to just go above my lid and add a little more. And then I'm going to blend it out. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little more of that witty. I'm going to come up above and lightly brush some of that above where I put the blue because I want it to be a little more prominent. Okay. And then... I'm going to add a little bit more of that gentle up underneath my brow. Here we go. Just up here, add a little shimmer. See how that finishes the look? This eye compared to this eye. A little shimmer. It's good to be sparkly. Go in the inner corner, add some more shimmer.
See? See how that looks? Do the same to the other eye. Up under the brow. See? And now the inner corner. Kind of bring it down. So now I think I want to bring I think I want to bring some of that dark blue underneath my lash line. So why not? Here we go. Experiment. So I'm going to start here in the corner and I'm going to bring that color right down to where it meets that shimmer that I put in the corner. Let's smoke it out. Let's smoke it out. See? Pretty. Pretty. So I'm going to do the other eye. And just take a little bit at a time. Don't gob your brush in there. Like I said, it's buildable. It's better to have too little on there than too much. Pretty. I like it. Like the way that looks, I have no liner on yet, and I don't even have my mascara on yet. But I like how that looks. You can mix and match your cream shadows, because they turn into a powder. Cream shadows and your pressed shadows. Awesome makeup. Terrific makeup. So now I'm going to contour my face and you can use, we have our beachfront bronzers, which a lot of people like to use. It's a powder to contour. You could use um, BB, BB Brew Cream in a darker shade, apply it here and then blend it out with a sponge. What I like to do is I like to use a contour brush and I use my sculpting trio right here and it shows the suggested use and I just dip into this darker color here and I suck it in I don't have any cheekbones see round face no cheekbones so I suck it in and you just drag it up drag it up like that and that's going to create a shadow to make me look like I have a cheekbone. So I'm going to do the other side. Okay. Get it on there. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm there's a bronzy kind of a shimmery color here. It's also a cream but we're going to set everything with our Behold setting powder to make everything blend together. It's going to be awesome. So I get into a little of that and then I go just above it. Like that. Okay. And if you want, you can contour your nose down the side of your nose, go down here, get underneath, get under here, and I have bangs, but if you wanted to, you can go along your hairline, if your bangs were up, or if you had no bangs, kind of have a shadow there and make your forehead a little shorter looking. It's good stuff. I like it. 
So now when I get all that on, I like to use a blending bud, okay? And I use my Touch Behold setting spray. And I moisten the butt, the flat end, if you have this type. And I just tap it. Tap it and kind of blend what you put on your face out a little bit. Just tap it though. And what you're doing is you're creating a shadow there. Now you could do this and just leave it. You wouldn't have to apply any blush, but I like to add a little more color to my face. It just adds a little dimension to your face. And just tap it. Get over here. Okay. See how that does? Just add some dimension to your face. Okay, so now I'm going to take my concealer. Now I get my concealer in the color Scarlet. My cream foundation was in the color Taffeta. And this is considerably lighter. And the reason I do that is because I like to highlight those areas of my face. Not only am I covering up, but I'm also highlighting here, 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 and here where the light would shine down on your face, pretty much. And this goes a long way. So what I like to do is I like to get a brush. This just a flat brush. And I like to put a dot on there, just a little dot. And I just kind of dot it along, now a little bit goes a long way. And I go under both eyes, okay? And then what I do is I drag it down Drag it down into a triangle. Don't just leave it under your face like this. You want to drag it down into the shape of a triangle. Like this. And a little bit goes a long way. Now it's going to look funky, but I'm going to blend it out. Then you add a little on your nose. You highlight your nose with it. Get up here. I've got bangs, so I don't have to go too far up. Okay, kind of here under the nose. Kind of here on the chin. Okay. Just like that. Those are the areas that you want to highlight with your concealer. That's why you get it a shade or two lighter. So once I get that on, I take the other end of my blending bud, and once again, this is thick concealer, and I don't want it to collect in my fine lines and grooves I have on my face, so I spray it and I tap it out. Now this is where you clean up. Everything that you want cleaned up here in the corner cleans up really nice with this. See? This is why you put your concealer on last. See? Alright? And just tap it. You don't want to drag it. You don't want to drag your skin. When you get older, your skin gets thinner. <laughs> and you don't want to be tugging on it. Because it doesn't bounce back the way it's supposed to. And if you need to squirt it again, go ahead. Squirt again. And you're just tapping it. And then you're going to clean up. Clean up that eyeshadow that you put on. And you're going to tap it out. And you're going to blend it in where you put that contour. Okay? And then you're going to look at your little poor forehead here. Your little poor forehead. See? Tap it out on your nose. But see how that highlights your face? See how it highlights? And we're going to add our setting powder to all of this. So it's all going to blend in nicely. But look at look what I've done to my face. I've contoured. I've added shadow. I've highlighted while covering up my, my bags. I'm staying out too late, of course. 
Can't go to bed early, you know. Gotta stay out too late. Okay, so I have all that done. Now I'm going to take my Behold setting powder. Now this is a translucent powder. That means it's not going to add any color to your face. But I like where I put that highlight. It's called baking. And I like to lightly tap some right where I put that concealer. Just tap it on and we're going to brush the excess off, so don't worry. But it kind of gives you that photo finish. And it adds in helping hide your bags. See how that works? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that sit for a little while before I brush it off. That's why it's called baking. It sits on your face for a little bit. So while that's on my face, I'm going to finish my eyes. Now, I don't have the liquid eyeliner yet. I prefer the pencil. For some reason, the liquid eyeliner, it scares me. I feel I have more control with the pencil. Sure, the liquid goes on smoother, but if you screw up, it's pretty permanent because I think the liquid eyeliner is waterproof. So I like using the pencil. And this is a precision pencil. And what I do is I start in the corner. Gotta have my mirror, sorry. Start in the corner and I work my way in. And I go above my lash line. Now, it's not as easy to put eyeliner on your face as you get older. Because you tug and your skin goes with it. So, I get it up there and then I take a smudge sponge and I kind of smudge it in there. So, and then I start over here in this corner. And I bring it to where I start it over in the other corner. Now, I don't do a wing. I don't do a wing and I've told you why I don't do a wing. Your lids start to sag right here. And what wings kind of stays there in the corner. It looks more like a blob. <laughs> so now I'm going to do the other one. But if you're young, go ahead and wing all you want. Seriously. Enjoy those lids while you're young. So I'm going to start over here in the corner. And I'm going to go up. Just along the lash line. And then I'm going to come over here in the inner corner and I'm going to bring it over, meet in the middle. Okay. All right. So I got that on. So now I find my, where is it? My smudge sponge. So many brushes here, seriously. It looks like this. This is from e.l.f. Get it at Walmart. It's just a stubby, firm little sponge. And what I do is I just go over what I just put on and I kind of smooth it out, soften it up, kind of get it down into your lashes. And I put this on before my mascara because when you see that epic mascara and what it does to my lashes, you're going to know why because you can't get behind those lashes to do this after. So put it on before you use the epic mascara. So then I'm going to smudge out the other one. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to go along my waterline. I've got that shadow under there. I really don't like to put liner under here, but I'll go in my waterline. So just cover up the 
blushy color. And it's not going to hurt your eyes. Just going to make your eyes pop a little. See what that does? Just makes your eyes pop. Covers up that fleshy color there. And we'll do the other one. Okay, got that done. So now if you wanted, you could go underneath your eye with some more of that blue color that we put on our lid because I added my concealer and sometimes when you add your concealer, it takes away some of that color under there. Isn't that pretty? Just use a crease brush brush that looks like this. You can get this from Unique also. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to brush away that setting powder. I'm just going to brush the excess away for now. And I'm going to add some blush. Now right now, Unique has free shipping. As I said earlier, free shipping on anything you purchase. It comes right to your door, free shipping. Just tax is added to the price. And it's through the 24th. So I think it's up till 2 o'clock in the morning, Saturday or Sunday morning. You can get free shipping. And I'm going to add my blush. I've got to find my favorite brush for that. This is the color Scandalous. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's a coral color. And I've had this since October when I got my starter kit. I haven't hit pan yet. Look at this. So pigmented you don't need a lot. So just tap, tap, tap. That's all you need. Look at all that. I just tapped it. And I just tap it on the upper part of my cheek. Little added color. See? Isn't that pretty? Want a little more? Add a little more. It's buildable. Everything is buildable. But as I was saying, there's no shipping. So if you ever wanted to try any Unique products, I know there's a lot of people that haven't heard of Unique. But if you're thinking of trying anything, there's tons of stuff. There's, there's masks. There's beauty serums, there's night creams, day creams, bronzers, there's all kinds of stuff. Now it's time to order, free shipping. So then when I got my face all done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my setting powder one more time. And it's not going to add any color to my face. And I'm going to blend everything together. And it just smooths everything out. See? It just smooths everything out. See? Setting powder? No setting powder. And it makes your makeup last all day. And I have found, at my age, sometimes I get a little flash now and then. And it feels like my makeup is melting right off my face. Well, you put this stuff on. And it's going to absorb. And it's going to keep it on. Get up here above. If you want, put it on your brows. Okay. See what that does? I'm just lightly feathering it on. It's a very puffy brush. Behold setting powder. So now I'm going to add my favorite thing in the world, my Epic One Step Mascara, my Magic Mascara. If you buy it by itself, it's $24 and free shipping. I'm going to say free shipping through the rest of this thing, free shipping. If you want 
to bundle it with this month's special, you will get a four pack of pressed shadows. Now this one's empty because I added them all to my larger palette, but they're that big. Look how big around those pressed powders are. Four colors of your choice in this palette. Nothing chintzy about this. It's magnetic. Awesome. You get that. You get an epic mascara. And you get a splash liquid lipstick. Your choice of colors. There's tons more colors than what I have here. $72. $72 for all of it. Free shipping. Okay. So let's do the magic here. I'm going to try to do it in here. Probably can't because I just can't do it in there. I'm sorry. I'm going to look in the mirror. And I had nothing on my lashes. All I had on my lashes was my lash serum. Every time I wash my face, I put the lash serum on. And I even put it on my brows just in case it sparks a little growth there. But my lashes are getting thicker. And you just lightly stroke it on. And I'm going to put two coats on today. This is not waterproof, but it is water resistant mascara. One coat. This is one coat. See, as, see what it does? It curls them up. See? One coat. I don't know why people don't want this mascara. $24, no shipping. Now I'm going to do the other one. Just one coat. I'm going to do two coats. Here we go. And as I said before, this Sunday at Jeffrey's, I am going to have all my makeup there. I'm going to have tons of brushes. I'm going to have tons of sponges. You want to try my makeup? You come on in. Try my makeup. You want me to put makeup on you? I'll put makeup on you. I'm not a makeup artist, but I like playing around putting makeup on people. We're going to have some drinks. I'm going to make some snacks. Sunday fun day for the girls. If you have any questions, I'll be there to answer your questions. If you want to order something, I'll help you order. Look at that. Sorry. Somebody's calling me. Look at this. It's one coat. One coat. Awesome. Goodness, seriously. Okay. So now I'm going to go down and do the bottoms. I don't like a lot of it on the bottom. One coat. And I bartend today. That's why I'm on this time of day. I can't get on early in the morning because I babysit my grandson from 5.30 in the morning until 9.30 or 10. And then from there I go to the bar that I manage and I make sure the coolers are stocked. And the banking's done. And then I have just enough time to come home, get ready, do a live, and then go back to work. Now this is just two coats. Two coats. Look at that. I just love this mascara. I really do. And it's easy to take off because as I said before, it's water resistant, not waterproof. Look at that. Perfect mascara. 
And as I said, this is our one step. We also have a two step, which is Fiber Lashes 3D Mascara. If you want to look like you have false eyelashes, you use that mascara. Oh my God. You want a little drama in your eyes? Get that. It's uh, two steps, so you use the gel, the tinted gel that comes with it, and then you take the fibers and you've got to roll them tight on the top of your hand so they don't fall down onto your face, but they are safe, so if they get in your eye, they're not going to blind you or do any damage. Just roll it like this and then apply the fibers and then apply the gel over the top so that the fibers adhere to your lashes. You do that a couple times and wow, seriously. But I like the Epic. I like the Epic. Well, there you go. So now, if you want to, you could add a little lipstick. This is the color Sublime. It's a real nude color. I have Stoic coming and that's like a darker brown color. I can't wait to try that, but let's do a little nude color today. Now I don't have that little little V that some women have. So it's not gonna look as dramatic on my lips. <laughs> but you just kind of outline them and you don't need a lot. So kind of scrape the applicator. And you just kind of outline. And I love this color. And it goes on really creamy. But when it dries, it stays on. And some will come off as the day goes long, but it still leaves a tint. It's not a stain. We have stains too that will stay on your lips all day long and will not come off no matter what. All day long. But this is sublime. It's just a nude color. Goes on really easy. I never used to wear lipstick. I never used to apply this many colors to my lid at one time. I never used to do my brows. I never used to sculpt. I'm 52 years old and I'm learning new things. And that's what's fun about my job. I get to sell makeup. I get to try makeup. I get to help other women feel beautiful and help them with their makeup. I get to spread the word on how good this company is and maybe possibly if they want to do it and make some extra money, they can do that working from anywhere. As long as you have a phone, you can work from anywhere. Anywhere. There's unique is in different countries all over the world. All over, nationwide too. Anywhere you have a phone, you can work unique and sell unique. Try new products. There's new things coming out every month. Nothing stays the same with Unique. And your commissions, you're paid the same day. Three hours after you sell anything, bam, you're paid. It's on your Visa card. You can take the money off your card, put it in a bank account, do whatever you want to do. Three hours later, what other job do you have where you're paid three hours later or the same day? Seriously, you can make a lot of money. And you can mentor women. You can sign women up underneath. Thank you. Two coats, Courtney. Epic mascara. Free shipping, Courtney. If you want anything, it's free shipping. Till the 24th or through the 24th. But yeah, seriously. So if you're interested in anything that you've seen today, or I'm going to pin my website, you can click shop on my website check everything out, then come Sunday to Jeffrey's at 3 o'clock and ask me any questions about anything you've looked at or anything that you are interested in. And I will help you, and Jen Kudo will be there, and she will help you too. She's our new presenter with Unique. I'm really excited about her being a presenter. I think she's going to do awesome. But that's my look for the day. Got 
this blue cream shadow called Ferocious on my lid. And then I have the new color Witty. It's like an orangey color. Press shadow in my crease. And then what I did is I kind of went up above my crease a little so you could see it up here on my brow bone. And then I went in with Gentle. It's a champagne -y, shimmery color. I pressed that just in the center of my lid. And then I put a little up above underneath my eyebrow. And then I went in with some more of that ferocious in the corner and up in the crease. And I brought some down underneath. I'm not wearing eyeliner underneath my lashes. I'm just wearing it in the waterline on the inside. See? Try new things. Try new things. Makes you feel good. Okay, so if you have any questions, message me here or PM me on my Facebook site. I will be pinning that site. I should do it right now so that you guys can do it when I'm off this live. Just one moment, please. Just one moment. Maybe. Maybe I will. I wonder if I can do it from here. No, I better not. I'm going to wait till this live's over, and then I'm going to pin my site because I don't want to get involved right now with doing that. Let's see. Let's try. Okay. Paste. So now when this is over, just go to the bottom. You'll see my Facebook page, PaulaTheMakeupLady.com, and click Shop. And that will take you to my free, unique website where you can look at all these products. You can see the specials that are going on. Free shipping on everything. Everything. So this Sunday at Jeffrey's, 3 o'clock, if you have any questions on anything and want to see some products, or click shop and knock yourself out. Free shipping. All right, you have a good Thursday. Be safe, be beautiful, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.